Moving on to an example for continuity, we have this piecewise function here, and we have to figure out whether or not it's continuous. So the piecewise function, the y values are defined by x squared when x is less than 2, and the y values are defined by x plus 2 when x is greater than or equal to 2. Now notice how x squared, it's a polynomial function, it's just a quadratic, and we know that x squared is continuous by itself. So all the x values that are less than 2, we know that the function is going to be continuous because it's just defined by that x squared function. Similarly, for all the x values greater than 2, we know that it's going to be continuous as well because x plus 2 is just a line and it's continuous across its whole domain. So for all the x values greater than 2 and all the x values less than 2, this piecewise function will be continuous. The question is, is it continuous at that x value of 2, where these pieces are meeting? So because we're analyzing the continuity of this function at an x value of 2, if you go back to the overview video, we have to prove two conditions. Number one, f of 2 is defined, and number two, the limit as x approaches 2 of this function is equal to f of 2. Now my suggestion to prove these two conditions is to draw a graph of this piecewise function. So if we do that, let's make a table of values for this piece over here, for x squared when x is less than 2. So we would pick that x value of 2, and then pick a couple of x values that are less than 2, and we know the y values for those x values are going to be defined by x squared. So 2 squared is 4, 1 squared is 1, 0, 1, 4. And another thing to take note is that at that x value of 2, because it's not defined here, this here is going to be a whole. However, it's still useful to know what that y value of the whole is going to be for when we draw our graph. Now let's make a table for this piece of the function. So the y values are x plus 2 for all x values that are greater than or equal to 2. So we would start at that x value of 2 and then pick a couple of x values that are greater than 2. And then to find the y values, we just plug them into this expression x plus 2 here. So this would be 4 5, 6, and 7. So if we take these and graph the function, let's start off with this table here. It's just going to be a parabola, and then it's going to end at that x value of 2 and that y value of 4. And there's going to be a hole there because it's not defined at that x value of 2. And then if we take this portion of the graph, for x values that are greater than or equal to 2 and graph them, notice how at that x value of 2, the y value is also 4. However, for this piece, it's defined. So we would put a solid coordinate there, a solid dot. And then the rest of these points, if we plot them, it's just going to be a line. So this graph here is the graph of this piecewise function here. And it's easy to see from the graph that this function is going to be continuous. Because if I go through the function with a pencil, notice how I'll never have to take the pencil off the function. That's another good way to think about continuity. If you can run through the whole function across its whole domain with your pencil without lifting it off the paper, then it's continuous. So from negative infinity, we can run through this whole function all the way to positive infinity without taking our pencil off the paper. However, unfortunately, that's not enough to prove that it's continuous. We have to go through these two conditions at that x value of 2. So the first condition, f of 2, is defined. Well, is it defined? Well, from the graph, it's easy to see that, yes, it is defined. There's a solid dot there at an x value 2, and the y value is 4. And we could have also figured that out from here because this piece is defined at an x value of 2, and if we plug in 2 here, we'll get a y value of 4. So we know that f of 2 is equal to 4. Now, what about the second condition, the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x? And to prove that a limit exists, we have to find what the limit is from both the left side and the right side. So the limit as x approaches 2 from the negative side of this function well, if we approach 2 from the negative side, we can tell that the y value we're approaching is 4. 
And then if we approach 2 from the positive side of this function, well, it's easy to see that the y value we're approaching is 4 as well. And because those two values are equal, they're approaching the same y value from both sides, we can say that the limit as x approaches 2 of the function is also equal to 4. And now notice how this limit is equal to f of 2, which was 4 as well. So we can be pretty confident that this function is continuous. We showed it through a graph and we showed it by analyzing the continuity at that meeting point of the piecewise function at an x value of 2 and we proved both conditions. f of 2 is defined and the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x is equal to f of 2 which is that y value of Four. So in conclusion, whenever you get a piecewise function, first thing you want to do is graph it so you could see it visually, and then you want to analyze the continuity at any meeting points. And the way you analyze continuity at any x value, you have to prove two conditions. And if those two conditions pass, then you know that the function is continuous at that meeting point. And if the functions, the piecewise functions, are continuous for the rest of the x values, then you know that the function is continuous on its whole domain. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.